you're watching part four of the series of videos that I'm doing on Windows 10. As Microsoft works on the technical preview and I've done several reviews already on the initial builds that came out and now I've gone ahead and did the update to the latest winter build, the 9926, as you can see right here. So there are a few things to talk about, and uh, we're going to break this up into several series here. So part four, first thing I wanted to show you is this little search, the Cortana search, basically. It's a new addition integrated now with the desktop to make things easier for you to find things not just within the system but online, right? So you might have seen this already on your uh, phones, iPhone, on Android, and on Windows 10. You've got now the same idea, right? You've got your voice search, basically. You can say, hey, Cortana, or you can talk into the mic by pressing that button and uh, type in, uh, you know, it'll, it'll type ahead and, and try to uh, determine what it is that you said, right? And here it is found my YouTube website when I talked into it and I said um, YouTube PC Whisket and uh, you can do search for Windows Update for example and you talk into the microphone say Windows Update and there it is takes you to the new Windows Update so one thing I want to show you now when you get into the uh, control panel to the system uh, areas now they've changed that you can see this cleaner look see that the icons are different the look and feel of each of those and I'm gonna make a separate video in part 5 to go through each and every one of those but this gives you an idea of what's to come right there's changes happening here in this interface the screens there's much more information now when you go in and you do a Windows update much more detail on what it is that you're updating actually so I do like uh, being able to uh, see choose and and read up on what it is that it's trying to do, right? So having those details here without having to go to a website, for example, and read up on what that specific fix does is uh, actually nice. Okay, so um, a lot of ways to streamline things, make it more user-friendly, and uh, not, not too busy in the color schemes. Obviously, you can see it's got a cool blue here, again, with that winter theme. The start menu, still there. The start button, still there. Uh, still a work in progress, of course. You can see here the expand uh, into this full screen start menu is a new start menu for those of you who might have a two-in-one PC switching into tablet mode, things like that. This is really what that's all about, right? Being able to uh, uh, dynamically change to that, but resizing the menu and making it smaller are things that it's still a work in progress. Uh, we're working on obviously slimming and making that menu nice and short and and uh, thin. We don't want a big massive thing necessarily. You can customize that and I showed you that previously in my uh, part one and part two videos of Windows 10 technical preview. The other thing of course when you look at the right hand side you've got the cloud, you've got your um, your wireless icons, everything in the taskbar there. For those of you that haven't used the um, the cloud yet and you're wondering about this OneDrive, well the OneDrive obviously has a fixed amount of space dedicated for you right there. So you can go to your OneDrive and um, start using it immediately, right? And if you don't want to use the OneDrive, well, it, don't log in, don't use it, right? But you have 15 gigs to use right off the bat and you can expand that, obviously. You can either purchase that, you can get that through rewards, you can get that through uh, getting other people to join, for example, and, uh, you know, expand it and get more than just uh, 15 gigs. But it's nice to have something on the cloud, something out there for backup purposes. Internet Explorer 11 obviously uh, is something that I'm constantly looking to see what are the improvements since my browser wars videos that I compare different browsers against and I'll add the link for that in case you're wondering but so far the uh, browser here is running pretty smooth. I didn't see any glitches uh, when uh, accessing my website doing the usual stuff, the usual browsing. Things look pretty sweet, pretty smooth, uh, responsive and um, you know I, I'm noticing an improvement there on the results on the scores and again I'll make a separate newer video that compares all the web browsers so that you get a good idea on uh, how this is really performing against other browsers okay like Chrome or Safari or uh, you know you name it okay Firefox Mozilla all those other browsers like I've done in the past but this just gives you a brief uh, introduction on what's to come there in the next series of videos. Now, for those of you that are wondering what is going on with the background that's changing all the time, well, that's the winter theme, right? The built-in wallpapers that came with this new um, release, this new build, are winter-related, so it's constantly changing in the background every so many seconds, minutes, whatever, so that's why you're seeing that uh, happening right now. So, again, so we've got 
updates for Cortana. We've got updates in the start, system menus, you can see that as well. You've got updates also in the apps, the store, the Xbox. Um, those are things that I'm going to be showing you in the next part five video. So thumbs up. Thanks for watching again. Comment below. Let me know what you think so far on what you've seen on Windows 10 Technical Preview. And thank you for watching.